Something has got to change about the DMV situation in this country. Every time I go there, it's more packed than Planned Parenthood two weeks after Valentine's Day. Like, you got a better chance getting a kosher meal from Time Magazine's Man of the Year in 1938 somewhere in Germany than going to the DMV and having a good time. It seems like the job application for the DMV, number one on the list is, are you a naturally an angry person? Like, these motherfuckers be walking around just angry and mad at life. Like, how you mad by default, son? You walk around with this scowl on your face like ISIS beheaded your family member. Don't bring your misery to work. Don't be over here upset at me. You wanna put your anger out on me cause your mother flushed down your turtle when you was eight years old. That ain't got shit to do with me. Keep your anger to yourself. Just cause Tyrone's shooting blanks and you can't get pregnant don't got nothing to do with me. Now would you take my ID so I can renew my registration please? I got about three self-service machines. Only one of them some bitches is working religiously. You got about 35 different stations. Only four of them got photo booths. How? How? A good four out of ten motherfuckers go to the damn DMV to get their photo taken. You only got four photo booths. You just creating a line. That's like going to a damn gym. They got like 80,000 basketballs, but only ten hoops. Please tell me how. Where the tax dollars going? Put more photo booths. We need to take photos, boy. What the fuck? Put a photo booth at every station. And if they don't need to take a photo, they just don't take the photo. But make sure you have it ready. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Why don't y'all just listen to the motherfucking words I'm saying? Y'all really getting me tight? You got about 50 different people who's on staff. 50 different people who's clocked in. 50 different people on the payroll. But these motherfuckers, only about 17 is actually doing their damn job. Everybody else walking around. Hey, what's going on? Did you see the game last night? My motherfucker, go do your damn job. It ain't lunch break at 10 a.m. Y'all just clocked in? But man, come help me. Ladies sitting at the damn desk looking at the table for like 30 minutes doing absolutely nothing. You ain't click a mouse. You ain't move a paper. You didn't move a damn muscle since I was online for the past 30 minutes. But you claim you busy? Lady, if you don't get to work, I'm going to have to activate my voodoo powers and bring the voodoo coming to a hood near you. And I swear to God, I will transform you into a goat if you don't get to work. Y'all see thousands of people every single day, but there's only about 53 seats in the entire damn building. Please explain to me how everybody's standing up against each other, motherfucking planking vertically against each other. My pelvic region is on somebody's buttocks. That's not why I went to the DMV. I went to get something done with my damn passport, with my license, with my permit. I went to go sign some paper. I ain't come here to rub my motherfucking pelvis on somebody's buttocks. Real talk, I'm getting tired of that. And then when I want to lay down or sit down on the floor, you want to call the officer over. Oh, sir, you're going to have to stand up, sir. Oh, no problem, officer. Ah, I, I felt wonderful standing up for three hours and the sciatica started to kick in and one side of my legs started to go numb. And let me tell you something, if my other leg starts to go numb, it's going to get a little bit noisy in here because it's going to be nothing but motherfucking switching music going all over the damn building. And then after waiting for a good 30 minutes to an hour, you want to give an overabundance of paperwork. They don't want to give us a pen. Talk about, yo, there's a vending machine over there. You can put a quarter in inside and get a pen for a quarter. Then, when you go and put your quarter inside the damn machine, the damn machine is playing the embezzlement Olympics and you never get your damn pen. It's the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. I can't do this shit. It's really getting me tight. Just give us the pen, you cheap motherfuckers. Leave the pen out. Give it to put on that damn rope like they got at the bank so nobody take the damn pen. Why you gonna charge people a quarter to get a damn pen? And then when I get tight and I say, yo, can I speak to your manager, your supervisor, can I speak to somebody? Because I'm not having a good time right now. They want to come over. Sir, we see thousands of people every day. It's always like this. I'm not sure what you were expecting. This happens all the time. You're just going to have to be patient. Sir, please explain to me, what the hell do y'all talk about in staff meetings then? Please, what the, why do you have all these people on payroll and you just sit over here like, you're just going to have to deal with it. I would really like to be a guest in a staff meeting at the DMV just to hear what the fuck they talking about. Because I'm pretty sure you never hear them say, so how can we increase customer morale? What can we do to make the customer's experience much more adequate? How on earth can we make the DMV a fun place to be? Well, maybe if you guys stop finger papping each other's assholes and started doing your motherfucking job, maybe the DMV would be a great place to go. But evidently it's not. 
Y'all only got two information booths. Two information booths. Like how? I'm on the line longer than the troops been in Afghanistan. Israel and Palestine would have already made motherfucking peace before I get seen by somebody at the DMV. So if this shirt ain't cost $100, I would have been ripped to shit like Hulk Hogan. You can see the perspiration falling down my face, going down my neck, because this shit got me heated. I'm telling you right now, next time I go to the DMV, I'm going to have the Tims on my feet, my wife beater underneath my shirt. Matter of fact, it's summer. It's only going to be a wife beater with the do-rag on my head and the fitted on top. I'm going to use my triple play powers, and I swear to God, I'm going to start punching people in the face. I can't do this shit no more at the DMV. I can't do it. I can't do it. Y'all motherfuckers is playing games. Y'all being ISIS of the motherfucking motor vehicle shit. Stop doing that shit. Stop being like ISIS. Handle your business, do your job, and make life easy for me. And if not, y'all can deadass suck my 